Hi, I'm Christina. And I'm Randy. Are you ready for an adventure? Come see our journey. Well, we've come today to the Sawdust Festival in Laguna Beach. Uh, cost for entry on this is about $10 each. And uh, they only let 250 people in at a time. So there's a 250 person limit. Uh, until people go out, then you uh, can't come in. The Sawdust Festival. Open until 5 p.m. on Saturdays and Sundays. And there's quite a few people in line. In addition to being a lot of seniors in line. Some place for the whole family. Inside the Sawdust Festival. Oh, look at the pumpkins. Fresh pumpkins. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm gonna slowly pan through. Look, look at everything. Yeah. You can look at. Let's go take a picture with the butterfly before everybody else. And all the people coming in. All the different Sawdust Festival posters from 1979 on down. 1970. Sawdust Festival been around for a long time. There's 74. Yeah. Hmm? 97, 2004, quite a few posters on Palm Farm. Very cool. Very nice. Ukrainian decorated eggs. That, that's over there. Mm -hmm. Ukrainian decorated eggs. That's all decorated now. Pictures are with shells. Those are little pieces of shell. Oh, very nice. Oh, these necklaces that she has are very lightweight. They look like they're a big heavy thing, but they're very lightweight. It's, it's really cool. And some nice stuff. Very nice paintings. Some beautiful work. Beautiful works of art. Some are very expensive. And then, on the other hand, some are very affordable. Uh, for instance, this the wave here is twenty-eight hundred dollars. The wishing pond. The coins you toss in these wishing ponds are donated to the Make a Wish Foundation to help make another wish come true. There you go. Okay. That's one of Christina's favorite things, the uh, water wheels. Pomegranates. Pomegranates growing at the Sawdust Festival. That's kind of cool, huh? Everybody's socially distanced. Yeah, some of the artwork is real expensive and then some of it's not very much. Those big paintings that you're looking at right there are only 480 where 
some smaller ones were you know, in the thousands. So, so it's all different, all different ranges. Sometimes the best signs are made by hand. The Christmas stockings. I like the Christmas stockings. The very tiki Christmas stockings. Very cool. Yeah, she's got, she takes the pictures and she's got them mounted on metal. Which it's are also developed on aluminum paper, aluminum from, yeah. developed looks, on metal. Yeah, it looks very nice. Nice little waterfall. That's so cool. Mm -hmm. She's out here doing her sewing right here. We were just talking about that. At the beach? Yeah. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, it's very cool stuff. A lot of these vendors have been here 20 years or, or so. And uh, they're telling us their story. <laughs> Shopping. <laughs> uh, everybody's socially distanced and enjoying shopping. So there's a sawdust festival, and we've done a lot of shopping, we're looking around and looking at all the artists different things and now we're on our way again I just wanted to make a final note to this video we had a good time shopping uh, it took us very little time because there was not that many vendors there we bought the tickets online off of an advertisement that uh, that showed a lot of the artists uh, doing their artwork, blowing glass, painting, and all that type of thing. That wasn't what was there. It was artists selling their, their objects. The objects that they were selling ranged from $10 to the thousands. But, I don't know, and, and the artwork was beautiful, fantastic, nice to see. There wasn't very much. There wasn't a lot of vendors. I don't think it was worth ten dollars. Probably could go to some art shows that are that are free and see the same kind of things. Now the Sawdust Festival had been going on for years, uh, over twenty years, I believe. This year, the COVID, not the greatest thing, and uh, on an overall, if you live right in that area. If you live in Laguna Beach, then it, then it might be kind of a, a good thing to go. But uh, to drive any kind of distance to go there, uh, I wouldn't. I wouldn't spend my ten dollars. Just my opinion. If you enjoyed our vlog, please subscribe and hit that notification bell. And give us a like. It lets us know you care. And we'll see you on the next one. Bye. Bye.